It's a bit of a surprise for me that the, uh... The theater seems to be part of the town... The... Hello there. The theater seems to be part of the town obelisk, while the windmill that's above the theater is part of the, uh... Is part of the desert obelisk. That surprised me a little bit, but... We are in underground caves, so maybe this whole area is closer to the rest of town. Anyway, there's a specific detail that's been bothering me for a while, which is that when we walk back here... This is weird, right? Like, this looks strange. And I feel like that's gonna matter in some capacity. There's just, uh... Like, I think that's the back of the screen. Let's just play a video. We'll start with the classic. So many people. Let's actually, let's actually check behind here. That, yeah, that's actually the back of the screen. Okay. So we need to draw something here. Oh, weird, there's a gradient. So this, this looks like it connects to the screen. So I want, I want white, I think. Because that in, that obvious loop at the bottom. What's weird is it looks like it changes color. Is that going to be acceptable? Can we gradient from white to gray to black? No, I mean, all at once? Trying to find ways to translate the knowledge. Where's this play audio playing from? It somehow gets louder over here. And then more muffled over- Oh, there's a speaker right there. There we go. That's funny how you can get closer and it, and it gets more muffled, because that's actually where the, the uh, speaker is located. That's a nice detail. Alright. Well, the obvious source of a white line would be this. No, it's not. This. No. There we go. Do -do 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 -do. Nostalgia wants at this point, isn't it? To see all these things in, one, in place. That's too far back. Alright, let's see how this works. Can I... Good? Not quite. Not quite lining up for me? There. Maybe it's the slight... Maybe it's the slight cutout. It's really weirding me out hearing the, uh, the audio getting muffled and unmuffled over and over again like that. It feels strange. Alright, let's see if this works a little better. Come on. There we go. Yeah, we made it to gray already. Oh no. Oh wait, no, I go this way. It's changing to gray. Now it's black. What? Upon which was printed the legend TRS-80. Why didn't that work? It was our floor sample of the world's first mass market microcomputer. The TRS-80 Model 1. Why didn't that work? 1.7 megahertz. Try us again. The sun. Shadow of the moon is one of my humble goals in life. The closest I ever came was over 30 years ago. On February 26th, 1970. What is going on there? A solar eclipse. It has a white outline. Is that the, the clue? Portland. I bought my bus tickets and found a place to stay. Oh god, but do I have end, to wait for the moon to go the across time. the entire screen? Oh no. It takes an hour to do that. That's like sure some enough, well, if, the, if that's the solution, that's some, like, listen to a podcast or go watch Game Grumps or something while I wait for something to happen. So that'll... If that's the case, we're gonna wait for later. So let's do other things. Alright, so... This thing probably lines up with the screen, right? That'd be my supposing. That, that's what I would suppose. Because we've been trying to make it line up with the screen for a while now. The weird pattern up there. So let's look for something that looks like it would match that. You, not you. You're what? This is the weird white pattern. Unless his head's gonna match up with it. That's that one. He just sits there all day. That nothing on him is the right color. And her hair almost would work, but it's not really ball shaped. But in this moment, to take. Don't think so. All right. Let's try you. Whoa. All right. Oh, hello. I think that's it. Well, I need time to get there, too. So... Oops, wrong way. Let's start at the beginning and try that. All right, the original audio log is playing. I'm going to run for it now. 
And that's the wrong way. I'm going to run through the series of caves, and we're going to see if I can get there in time. Oh yeah, that'll line up with something, right? Alright, now we just need to wait for something recognizable to show up. There it is! Got it, just barely. I almost missed my chance. There we go. Alright, we found one more in the theater. Two to go. We need to figure out the weird one that looks... God, is that really going to take an hour? I think that might be what I have to do. Alright, maybe I'll ignore that one for now and move on to the other one. Alright, so I think there's something involving... Nostalgia. This one's weird to me. So that thing's gotta be the solution, right? But how do I... How do I draw a line up? Like, that looks like the beginning and that looks like the end, right? But how do I draw a line across? Is it the back? Is there a trick back here? Oh shit, what? Okay. Oh, because the screen is running. The whites are bleeding down the screen. That's why it's... Okay. Wow, that was a crapshoot, actually. Yeah, because it looks like the beginning and the end of a, tr of a track, but I didn't see how you're supposed to do it. What does it, lo what does it look like again when there's nothing there? Is there a white streak at all? No? Huh. It's just like a weird effect. Alright. Well, I'm gonna go into the town now and try to solve... Well, it should be three more in there. Because clearly there's one more down here involving the eclipse, but I'm going to wait until... I'm going to save that for the end of this current session for recording. And I'll probably sit back and watch, like, I don't know... Get my evening episode in of, like, Better Call Saul or Walking Dead or something like that while I slowly wait for the witness for an hour for the eclipse to move across. And I sure hope I nail it, or... Uh, it's going to be awkwardly not included in this video or the next one or whatever this whatever happens next. All right, let's revisit that obelisk and find out what we have left. This one, cur I'm curious about this one. Did I? F I think I got all three directions right. I feel like I've finished draw drawing the black lines in here. They're so obvious that if I didn't miss them, then well, I, g I guess it'll be an easy point. So looking at what's left, looking at yeah, right there. That's that's the that's the eclipse. Start of the eclipse, go all the way around, go across the top wire, then the weird hanging thing. I totally have to wait for it for an hour, don't I? Because it doesn't solve right now. Alright, there's these two things. This is the opposite of that one. That looks... This actually looks like the flower wall. Is there one around the corner? Is there a second part? That would make sense, the flower wall always had a green and a red streak at the same time. So, maybe the green streak? I think, did I solve the green streak or the red streak? Well, well, the one I didn't do already probably has... I can change the color of that room and probably solve that. This thing just loops. And does not look familiar to me at all. And what's your deal? What is your deal? Starts at a spot, goes back and forth real quick. Let's take a look at the central one. Do you go back and forth real quick? Did I just flat out for not get one of you after all this time? Because I could see that. Back and forth real quick. That's you. Do I need to be on top of the... Oh, maybe I need to be on top of one of these tall places to do that one. So one of my remaining ones is act actually... It. Oh, is that it? Oops. Nope, I need to be higher. Yep, it totally has to be on top of that tower. That's why I didn't have it solved. Okay. I was gonna say the the uh, the black line seems so, like such an obvious solution that I should have gotten them all, but if maybe it was impossible. Higher, it looks like. Oh, we have to go around the outside. This way. Still want to know where those missing audio logs are that I haven't found yet. This is too far. Can I do it from here? Ah, uh, here we go. Now I had that already. Is it you? Oh, that's the one I'm missing, huh? I highlighted it and it tells me the two directions. That's the one I'm missing. So get on top of that tower. Okay. Nope. Still don't have it. Need a better angle. What if I go on top of the mirror? The opposite perspective? We good? Yep, this is new. 
Do I have the right angle? Got it. There we go. We're almost close enough. If I was staring at it directly, I might have even been able to see the uh, glyph light up from there. So that's the big wobbly back and forth one, right? Are we down to only three in this entire obelisk now? Those three? Everything else looks complete. It's, it's freaking me out how, how close we are to finishing this game now. <laughs> Alright, so that one we know, but it's going to take an hour. This one should be the flower wall. I don't know what that one is. We're just going to have a weird jump cut where I suddenly see something and I'm like, That looks like that! That looks like that! It does look like that. Huh. So there's a specific solution that'll make these line up then. Seems like you specifically need to be further down here because there's a black bar here. That's, oh, that's the starting point. Starts here, loops around, ends there. Okay, let's draw it back in then. Let's figure out how to draw this in a way where it goes just, just right. Yep, that works. It just retracts when you do that. Oh! Not quite. Has to be sticking out one more block. My bad. We can do that. Let's see if this is right. Here we go. Oh, get the right angle. Alright, well that was easy. I'll go ahead and, and uh, extend it again. I don't really have much reason to, I guess, because... That, that bums me out to say that, but I guess we're, there's not... I, I probably won't have a lot of reason to go out there again because the game's... So close to being over, really. And we're literally... This is me, like, see, like... This is me, uh, closing the book on this region of the game. That's the tough thing about doing this part of the game, is every time I finish one of these obelisks, it's like, oh... See, until now, it's been like, I've been... I can come back to these places and there's still more to do, but now... These beautiful locations are just done. And now, now it's like a museum. <laughs> I could play the game again years from now and maybe resolve things, but... It'll take a long time for things to fade properly. So that's the one we solved already, right? Oh yeah, I remember I solved it... ...in red by changing that room red. Then I changed the room, the room green and I was clicking on this and I wouldn't solve. So, is there one around the corner? That's exactly what's going on. Wow, I never checked that, huh? Really? That's all I had to do? All I had to do was just go around the corner a little bit? God damn it. At least I solved it on my own. Because the, uh, the obelisks just rev You just look at that and realize, oh yeah, that's the same symbol, almost, at least. But backwards and has a weird angle to it. Oh, it goes around the corner of the 3D space. That's all... Glowing. There we go, guys. We're just about done with all of the town. Now it's time for me to grab something to eat. And, uh... Get something to watch for an hour. And then that'll get solved. <laughs> that's... that's silly. That's silly, but, uh... Braid, I believe, ha What was it? was it? Was it called the Cloud Puzzle? See, Braid also had secrets. Obviously, it had the main part where you, uh... You play the whole game, and then... You, then there's the twist at the end of like, Oh no, the thing's backwards! And then... The, uh... It had a series of secret stars you could get through really obscure means. And I know that there was one thing in it called the Cloud Puzzle. And it involved... I don't know what the action was you had to do, or if... I don't even know if you had to do an action at all, but in a, in a specific location in the game, you had to wait for a long time for a cloud that was all on, on the other side of the level, which, that was slowly moving to go across the entire level. And once it got to the other side of the level, it would finally be like... I don't know if it just unlocked something, or if you could platform on it or something, but I think it took like an hour or more. And that was part of, that was one of the secrets, so... The fact that he would do something like that again... Not entirely shocking. Just slightly a bummer. Alright. You? No. Let's get you started, buddy. Alright, guys. Have a good night. We're going to... Be doing this for a while. 
I bought my bus tickets and found a place to stay. See ya. There we go. Got it. We've got it. Ah, oh, that was a long wait. There we have it, guys. Let's get a closer look at that. Three... No, is that our fourth white pillar? Fourth white pillar, yeah, right? All the way around. There we go. That, it's it's really cool looking when it's white with the black lines on it. It's really distinct. Alright, well that one took a while, but we got it. Oh man. So, aside from audio logs and that one elusive final puzzle I believe I'm still missing somewhere, that's it. Uh, say goodbye to the intro area, say goodbye to the town, say goodbye to the windmill, say goodbye to the theater, say goodbye to the glass factory, and symmetry, and desert, and the shady forest, and the castle, and the shipwreck, and the uh, treehouse. All that we've got left is the mountain itself, the, uh, the, uh, the greenhouse behind the mountain, the jungle, and maybe the bamboo forest, and stuff around that area, and the swamp. We are, that's it, that's, that's, I think that's our fourth out of six completed. That's crazy to think about. So we are now... I was gonna say we're now two-thirds done with environmental puzzles, but we're... we're, we're too, oh, that was the sound of the... <laughs> that hour-long recording uh, ending. It's not even... we're actually more than two... I was gonna say we're two-thirds done with the environmental puzzles, but I did the majority of them, I think, during the main playthrough, so... We're two... we're, we're now two-thirds of the way through the cleanup of the environmental puzzles. That's four pillars there, two waiting for me. What's our score now? 522 plus 18 plus 4. Those are high numbers. <laughs> We're getting there. We're getting there fast. Alright guys, two more obelisks. And then one elusive puzzle somewhere, and a few audio logs I've had trouble finding, but I think even now... I don't really feel like counting them right now, but I think we're somewhere in the ballpark of probably... Anywhere between four and eight remaining audio logs in the entire game, I think. There's not very, there's a really small number left. I believe. I just want to pay a quick visit before closing off for the night. Just to, uh, remind myself what our progress is like. So there's one of the obelisks. A lot of it's cleared in. There's like one or two left over facing the jungle temple. Let's go ahead and get up to the obelisk itself. I actually went the wrong way around the hill. <laughs> and found my way towards the other obelisk first. So here at the base of the mountain we have- Okay, that's gonna keep us busy. Dear Lord. Oh my god. Those are inside the mountain itself. We might have five in the mountain? Or behind the mountain at that point. Yeah, there's, yeah, well, yeah, there's no obelisk on the other side of the mountain, so anything this, in this include directions that are on the mountain, or in the mountain, or behind the mountain. There's one down there, a bunch over here. These ones look like they're pointing more at the swamp, maybe? A whole bunch of them are pointing at the swamp. And then this whole side's empty. Dear lord, alright. We, we do have a decent chunk left. We've only... Let's, to estimate... Yeah, I'd, I'd say that we have maybe half of the marks on that one. That's probably... that's that's easily gotta be the... The obelisk that was the least filled in when I finished the main campaign. And then we've got you. You have a decent amount left on you, don't you? One, two, three... Four, five... No, that's it. Just five total. On this one. We got pretty far on this one. A lot of them were in this temple, and we're only missing... One or two in that direction? So we're doing pretty good there. And then it looks like there's three in the jungle somewhere. Each in their own discreet direction, too. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching, like always. I will see you next time. Just a few more details to clean up. But that mountain's gonna be a pain. <laughs> I can already tell that one's gonna be a huge one.